Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. Back with part two of my Chanel collective haul. Thank you so much if you watched part one. This is part two and I'm super excited to go through the items with you guys and tell you where I purchased them and how I got my hands on these items. But before I get into this video, I would like to thank today's video sponsor and that is, believe it or not, LVMH Dior Christian Dior perfumes here in Sydney, Australia. I know what crazy they reached out to me and asked if they could uh, be on one of my videos and sponsor and send me out some items to which I was like, yeah, girl. So the beautiful uh, manager there, Anastasia wrote to me um, just letting me know that um, she was sending me some items from the Dior Makeup latest collection. So good! Get out! Are you serious? This needs a whole dedicated video, not just a sponsor video. This must be their PR um, box that they send out. So it's a Dior Forever. Oh, it is because it's got all the shades. So we go from super, super duper fair right down to a beautiful caramelly warm tone down here the forever skin glow so this is the new collection that's come out so these are the colors here just give me a quick quick once over and also she threw in this bag oh my god it looks like the boutique oh my gosh Oh, nah, girl. Look at this. Like, I just went shopping. So this is the backstage collection. And actually, I only think the Dior counters, it might, I may be wrong about this, but I think the Dior counters, so the Dior walk-in boutique counter at Bondi Westfield, actually have this backstage collection. So we've got some beautiful brushes. That is a pencil brush there. We've got, oh, nice, a cornered contour brush that's beautiful we have the um, Dior Attic Lip Maximizer which is super famous in their collection super duper famous I might have to do a get ready with me with all this stuff that Anastasia has sent me oh my gosh so this is the eye palette the Dior Show um, mascara I used this for years years this is the Dior Backstage face and body foundation Oh, okay, that's nice. That's beautiful. So that's inside this little, this is so gorgeous as well. That is gorgeous. Ah, uh, and to wrap up these goodies that I got sent uh, from Dior Makeup. So this is the perfect cushion and they're, oh wow, this is the limited edition one. This is the studded, this is 010 is the color studded canage limited edition. So if you, if you can see, it's actually like, it's like, a Lady Dior bag. It's studded and it's actually like padded as well. It's almost like it's like leather. I'm assuming it's not leather. How gorgeous is that? Oh my god, how cute. Oh, look at this little pouch. Stop. That is so, that's like my Chanel neoprene pouch that I actually picked up from David Jones. It's got a little CC star on the side. This makes for a gorgeous little pack. I'm going to seriously try and find this on their website. So we've got the um, Capture Youth. So that's the little pot of that, the Age um, the age Delay Advanced Skin Cream in the Capture Youth. And that's all in this beautiful like rosy pink. And then we have a um, the Rouge, a Rouge lipstick with the Dior um, engraved around the bullet. That's so beautiful and that's in a very vibrant red. Aging skincare cream. So it's kind of, yeah, it's like a gift pack. So nicely wrapped all up inside there in tissue paper. That would make for such a cute little gift, honestly. So thank you so much to the LVMH team and the headquarters at Christian Dior Perfumes and Makeup here in Sydney, Australia. Hi guys. Thank you so much to Anastasia, their manager there, for reaching out to me to sponsor a video. So the first part of this haul is now sitting up behind me. I played around with it. It's so pretty. And I am moving on to these four items here. Uh, the first item will be down inside this box. The Camellia already fell off just before. Um, will be down inside this box. And 
the I'm doing this in order of purchase and here's the box here is the card this is from fashionfile.com I picked this up first off their website but it it was listed as new it came with the case it even came with all the tags uh, inside here is the dust bag to reveal my first item from ah! <laughs> This ridiculously, ridiculously obsessive, coveted obsession, obsession beyond belief with a lot of people in the Lux community. I'm not going to say everyone here on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, but listen, it has taken us by storm. So here is the first item. It is the card holder with the larger CCs. Now these CCs like instantly got super famous because they're much bigger. Uh, then the classic which is like a small just in the uh, hardware this is like in a I would say an enamel it's not mother of pearl but it's made it's an enamel that's made to look like clear mother of pearl I'm guessing it's sort of a resin type material so it's just your classic card flat card holder here's the authenticity and it has got the four card slots one two three four and I picked this up new from fashionfile.com. Yes, I paid over retail for it. Am I kicking myself? Kind of. Because in my last haul, I showed you the classic black card holder that I picked up from Ellen in the Castle Ray boutique. When I went in for that meeting and I saw her, this had just like, it was a couple of weeks released. And as Ellen said to me, she can't stand how a collection releases and it's almost like release wait a second wait a second wait a second oh my god i want it and it takes us like maybe you know three or four weeks to really circulate social media circulates it of fashionistas out there buying these products circulate it by word of mouth it advertises and then boom everybody wants it boom it sells out which instantly pushes the value through the roof. So that's what I really wanted to tell you. Resale in particular with these items. And it's especially Chanel. I paid, I think, a premium of, how much was this? I think it was 700 US dollars. A thousand Australian dollars. A thousand Australian dollars. And this would have retailed for half that. So 500, 600 dollars from Ellen. In the boutique back when I first saw it but thought no I'll pass so that was the first item so that was from fashion file then I kind of went downhill from there okay I really did I knew I okay so I'll explain I'll explain it first of all my beautiful Zenny I've spoken about Zenny before she is who I got this unicorn off look it's raining unicorn people it's raining unicorns okay they're everywhere it's amazing to invest in and it's just you know the hunt is so addictive and just fantastic and I love working with these businesses anyway so to shout them out is great so shout out again to Zenny she she contacted me for this when I put a post she is absolutely gorgeous she's hiring right now and I said do you want to can you hire me I'll come and work in your boutique so she runs the consignment personal shopper boutique found online and on Instagram love lots luxury if you are in Facebook groups or if you are on Instagram shopping there are personal shoppers these are new from the boutiques these weren't owned these weren't in a consignment manner do you know what I mean these personal shoppers have relationships and some people can't stand that the personal shoppers get offered things first or they buy it out first and then resell no 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 this is where I really try to bring it back down to earth to go you can't buy Chanel online okay you have to go into a boutique if there's a boutique near you see in some places in europe and in america there isn't a boutique near these people and they do not sell online phone order you have to do a 
transfer, a bait and transfer, it takes like three days. This stuff could be sold out and they may not hold it for you. So a personal shopper is a fantastic, fantastic source. Some people don't believe in it because they obviously have a commission involved. Like I use Zenny, like I have used Irene before in Paris. I got my Rue Cambon from Irene. She's amazing. So she's a Paris personal shopper. They have relationships with the essays. The essays contact them when the collections come in they almost get amounts of items or products put aside for them for their clientele because usually their clientele is either VIP or VVVIP and sometimes celebrities, people that can't get to the boutique. So they buy through them. With a collection like this, this iridescent situation by the C19S, you can, yes, end up paying a premium like Fashion File rather than getting it new in the boutique, but that's because you can't get it new in the boutique unless you're as dumb as me and you go, oh, that's okay, Ellen, I'll pass on this one. And then a month and a half later go, no, 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 actually, I want to get in on this. So let's go ahead and open what I picked up from Zenny at Love Locks Luxury, Love Lots Luxury up in Singapore. She's so beautiful. So there's the ribbon and the camellia, exactly like shopping from the boutique, all new from the boutique. Here is our dust bag, our care booklet down inside. It's got, and then she's got the uh, proof of purchase in the back here. I haven't seen these, this is true. This is true unboxing. I have not seen these. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. It's like fairy floss. I'm not even kidding you. It's literally like fairy floss. It is like little tiny fairies landed on this. It's get out, right? I know. I know. You would never believe that I have two boys. Is this At this moment, I'm feeling like I'm such a girly mum. Wow, look at that. So this is the, let's call it fairy floss or fairy princess pink from the 19 spring summer collection that I was talking about. There is the hardware, it is the champagne gold and there's regular CCs, not the larger, and this is in the XL card case. So it has the Mona Lisa pocket on the back and your classic on the front, and snap it open. So there we go, it's gonna blow out a bit, but there we go, we've got Chanel there. You've got this front card slot here, like this, and then opens to two. There's our authenticity card, one, two. It says Chanel and made in Italy on this side. There is our authenticity card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this color. Oh my god. It's literally like fairy, fairy floss. That's exactly what it's like. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Zenny. So I'll place it there. That shows it very nicely. This is my second item that I grabbed from Zenny. Look at this. It's so, I love a middle bow. Some essays try to sort of tie it here so you can see the Chanel, but I, there's something so, I just absolutely love a middle bow. I think it's so gorgeous. So let's go ahead. This is my second item that I got from Zenny, new from the boutique. So there we go. Chanel box. Oh, she even puts it, that's good. She puts it in plastic as well. So there we go. Here is the proof of purchase. In this card, I will share the price. I didn't share the price of that. And there is the care booklet down inside. So it was in Singapore dollars. I will convert it for you. I think it was around, uh, again, nine, nine, 900, expensive, 900 or a thousand Singapore, a thousand Singapore, roughly. Singapore is almost equal to Australian dollars. So yeah, around a thousand. This was a pure want because I just found it so interesting. Uh, however, massive premium on this one. But it is so beautiful. <gasps> oh my goodness. Stop. 
Wow, oh my gosh, I've never ever seen this per this item in person. I, I never even picked it up in, in a boutique or anything like that. I just, I don't think I ever gravitated towards picking it up, even in a black or a, just a plain color. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am. My entire brain has been removed. This is the phone zip wallet i'm not even quite sure it doesn't look it doesn't even have a name it's got this pouch here on the front like so it's got your cc logo you turn it on the side it's got a tab here and it's a zip compartment like a wallet so there we go it's got chanel so chanel made in france stamped there we've got the authenticity card to coincide there and then on the back, it's got card holders. It's got five card holders. So here is my iPhone 7 Plus. And ding, so cute. Oh yeah, you can, so cute, so cute. So your phone could be in there, your cards could be on the back, or your phone could be in the front and your Cash could be in here and your cards could be on the back. Oh, oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Look at that colour. You gotta get out. That's unbelievable. Nah, girl. Okay, I didn't tell you the price on this guy. Probably shouldn't either. So this one was Singapore dollars 1500 yeah, 15, 15, 15, 80, 1600 look. Okay, don't talk about it. It was a premium, but again, sold out. So here we go, we'll put these little goodies here so you can see them. That is sensational. Thank you so much to Zenny for letting me purchase these items from her stock that she got from this 19S collection. Thank you to Fashion File. I got my hands on this baby as well. If they did not have these personal shoppers that um, sell that sell these collections outside of boutiques, because that is it for Chanel, you might not have these options. I could not get back into the boutique to then see this collection again with Ellen or with Sunny or with Ivy. I couldn't get back in. I have babies. I could not get back in there. It's 45 minutes to the city. However, these guys make it possible for me to be able to get my hands on it. That in itself is worth, is worth it. So these kind of was a little bit more acceptable. That's where it all went downhill because then, then this happened. And a shout out to a beautiful personal shopper. Her uh, page is on Instagram. I will link her below, Linda. Hi, Linda. I reached out to her after I saw uh, another, uh, actually a follower had picked up this bag. Hi, doll. And I commented on her picture and was like, oh my gosh, it's sold out everywhere, where do I find it? And she was like, I think this personal shopper might have one more available. Let's unbox it. I never thought in my, in my wildest dreams I would acquire this piece. New from the boutique, I've got my vintage classic flap, which was my first ever Chanel. However, that's a different caliber altogether because it's vintage um, but also because the price increase on a classic handbag a classic flap is just out of this world so when it came to this item I knew it was a no-brainer to invest in this piece it's just so amazing I, I, I've never done this I've never done this with this dust bag, oh, the price of these bags. Here we go. Here is the proof of purchase down inside from the personal shopper, from Linda. 
and here is the care booklet as well and all the tissue paper because it is new from the boutique what did i get my hands on as well from this collection so the beautiful chanel gabrielle dust bag this gorgeous thick suede type dust bag which has chain a chain pocket as well oh, ta -da! to show you guys and unbox with you this oh my god oh my god it's stunning let me get this off wow wow holy moly oh my goodness so there we go how perfect the felt is out Look at this bag. Look at this bag. It's literally, it is literally like little pink fairies landed and just like shat all over. <laughs> Fairy poo, that's what it is. So this is my new from the boutique through the personal shopper Linda. I will leave her page below. Classic flap in the small size in the 19 spring summer 19s iridescent light pink that they did with champagne gold hardware. Oh my god, it's epic! It is epic for many reasons. This is a small flap. Yes, Ellen did tell me she did get quite a few small flaps you know new from the boutique when the collection first released however with the demand with the increase as i told you the demand for it with the with social media buzzing it just that's why it's called influencers because you you get interested you see posts you see unboxings and you get you get in the psyche for it and that's okay too it's all right to be late to the game there's nothing wrong with it you just pay more for it but if you're okay with it then we're okay with it then the world is okay with it and everyone can just chill so i got this from a personal shopper and i paid I paid a little over retail US. Now, for anyone else in any other country, so for pound, for Australian dollar, for any other currency, that's probably not great. However, I have a US bank account. So for me, with my work, I have money in US. So to shop in US is not a problem because I'm not converting it to then buy again, if that makes sense. This was 5,600 US dollars and new in the boutique here in Australia, it was 7,400 Australian dollars. So I paid a little over retail, not a little, sorry, I paid over retail Australian. I paid what the medium is new, and that was the catch. Ellen and Sunny both said they had a medium new still uh, a couple of weeks ago. They were like, we have a medium, but I did not want a medium. I wanted this small. I wanted to sit and invest in this small. I think it is such a gorgeous gorgeous size a gorgeous color it's not a mini flat bag it's you know a much more of a bag bag size it's not like mini it's quite substantial but it wears the color so well I'm close I'm going to turn my lights right down because it will just blow out because it's so iridescent and beautiful oh my goodness so there we have the interwoven uh iridescent leather with the champagne gold hardware there you got the Mona Lisa pocket on the back in beautiful diamond quilting and this I, I didn't actually say this is grained lambskin the whole collection that I have is grain lambskin none of it is uh, caviar it's all grain lambskin and you can feel that because it's quite soft so you have the lovely turnlock closure CC and then you have the classic flap. It's so funny to open the classic flap because I'm so used to opening mini flaps, which is single. So there you have your double flap. You have your small zipper pocket, which is on the flap. There is a, actually a compartment back here, goes all the way down the back. And then you open your double flap. That's where you have your quilted CC logo there. Then you have a compartment here at the front, very handy for fitting your phone. 
and then you have your interior which is two slip pockets your lipstick pocket and your interior compartment and this says Chanel Paris made in France does it yes Chanel Paris made in France stand there this is actually this is actually really nice lighting with uh, my ring light dulled to show you it up close uh, I was going to do some cutaways but this is really nice lighting to show you here so that is pretty true to color uh, when I'm holding it up there it, it actually really is this item is just beautiful it's quite puffy on the front which is really nice and of course the excel card case which i originally had and showed on a video in my black that i got from hong kong and they've bought it back in a big way there's many different you know i got this in the 19c the cruise collection in the bright bubblegum pink um, in the excel size um, which is a lot pinker than this. Let me compare it actually. I just ran and grabbed my um, 19C. So you can see it there. Wow, it's really pink. So now you can see that's really bubblegum pink. I'm using it at the moment. Versus this like fairy floss kind of pink that's from the new spring summer collection. So I just wanted to compare the pinks for you there if you were interested. So there we go, oh my god, who am I? I don't know. Some people don't like when I say that, but I do because it's fun. It's fun to change and to move in and out and just, I guess, experience different things and step outside the box. I've said that before in other unboxings, such as all of this pink situation going on here and brighter colors, but that's nice. You know, it's nice to be different. It's nice to accept and try change. So stay tuned to my channel for more vlogs and I will be back with another sit down video. I put a Q&A post on Instagram. I will throw it up here. And you guys asked so many great questions, which I will definitely get around to doing a sit down video on that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and wish to do so, that would be great guys. There is a button below with a bell next to it. If you hit that bell, you'll get notifications of all my new videos. Like this video if you really liked my haul and all these special unicorn pieces that I picked up to add as investments to my collection i'm so happy i was able to do that i hope everybody is doing really well guys take care peace